Hi everyone, today we're going to look at substitution for variables. Which is larger, b plus 2 or 2b? 2b, because when you multiply you usually have more than addition. I don't think so. If you multiply by a fraction, you get more. Try put some values in both expressions. If b is equal to a third, we have 2b equals to 2 times a third, which is 2 over 3. And b plus 2 is a third plus 2, which equals 2 and a third. 2 and a third is bigger than 2 thirds, so b plus 2 is bigger. So it's a trick question. It depends what b the variable is. It all depends on what b is. If it's a positive number, then 2b is bigger. But if it's a fraction, then 2 plus b is bigger. And what about negative numbers? You can figure that one out. When you place a number in place of a variable, like a letter, you're substituting. Let's practice substitution. Let's say we have 3a minus b, where a equals 2 and b is minus 3. Always use brackets. So we have 3 times 2 minus minus 3, which is 6 plus 3, which is 9. Now you try this one. 3x squared plus xy, where x is minus 1 and y equals 5. 3 times negative 1 squared plus negative 1 times 5. That equals 3 minus 5, which equals to negative 2. Have a go at this one, a squared plus 3b, where a is minus 1 and b equals 4. When we substitute a as minus 1 and b as 4, we get minus 1 squared plus 3 times 4. Since 1 squared is 1, we get minus 1 plus 12, which is minus 11. Something doesn't look right. Oh, you forgot the brackets. Let's do it again with brackets. Oh, minus 1 squared is plus 1. So now we have plus 1 plus 12. So the answer is actually 13. Much better. Always remember brackets. One last example. Given the rule y equals 3x, complete the following table. So y equals 3 times negative 1 is equal to negative 3. y equals 3 times 0, which is 0. y equals 3 times 2, which is 6. That's great, you can confidently substitute values into expression. Bye, Bye everyone! See ya.